Hi, I'm Russell Lindsay, Senior Product Manager for Anritsu Company in Morgan Hill, California. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate how to save and recall files using the PC software for the Fieldmaster Pro MS-2090A. So I have the software open here on my desktop and connected remotely to a Fieldmaster Pro instrument. The instrument is sweeping across a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth shared band in the Spectrum Analyzer mode. Now let's say that as I'm monitoring these bands, I want to try to capture one of these Wi-Fi band events. So if I came in here to sweep, I could put it into a single sweep mode, sweep until I see something interesting. <clears throat> Once I have a signal on the screen, I can come into my file menu, and in order to save this trace data, I do a save as, and it's going to open up the dialog box where I can select the type of file I want to save. So down in the drop drop down I have the setup file. Now this will save only the setup parameters of the instrument. It will not save any of the trace data. To save the trace data and the setup I do a trace file which is a .fm spa. I could do a trace plus a screenshot. I could do a CSV file which will save the trace data into a CSV format. A limit file which is limits only or a screenshot. For this demonstration we're going to use the fm spa file and we'll come up here, we'll give it a name, let's call this one trace5. Once I hit enter, you'll see that the file is saved successfully to the desktop. Uh, if I want to come back and find that parameter, that directory, I can always open up my information bar. Now, <clears throat> note that because I'm using PC software, I'm browsing and saving files to local directories of the PC. These files are not being saved to the instrument itself, nor could I recall files from the instrument. This is, uh, this is a local save and recall system with the PC software. So now that I have a file saved, I could set this back to sweeping. And at some point, let's say I'm ready to recall the file and I want to do a little analysis on it. I come back to my file, I open up the recall, I look for the file that I've saved. I hit open. <clears throat> now it opens up the trace file and you can see what I saved here and now I can go ahead and do some measurements on this data. I can place markers. So if I come here, let's say I want to put a marker at the peak. Let's say I want to measure the, the amplitude difference between the peak and the noise floor. I come open a second marker place it somewhere in the noise, change it to a delta marker, and open up my marker table, and you see here that I can measure now the difference in amplitude being 30, about 31 dB. I can also make a channel power measurement on this data. In order to do this, I have to change, turn the sweeping back on, which won't impact the trace data, but it does turn on the back-end engine that's making measurements. I come and set this to channel power, now note that it's going to make a channel power measurement on the center of the screen. If I want to lengthen that bandwidth, I can click in the table. I can set it to something more like 20 megahertz, or let's say 30. Now I can make a channel power measurement of that signal in somewhere in the order of a minus 55 dBm. Okay. Now also want to note and point out that this signal the trace data has been recalled into a hold state. So what's happening here is that the backend engine is still running. So if I wanted to come in, let's say I wanted to open up a second trace. Let's see, see here, I, by clicking here, I've opened up trace 3. Now you see that trace 3 is still sweeping. And as long as I'm in the same settings as the recalled trace, I can do comparisons on the sweeping trace and on the recalled trace. Um, now if I want to go back to taking to have trace 1 taking live measurements I simply go back to my trace 1 settings and you'll see here that it's recalled into a hold view mode I change that back to active and now both traces are actively sweeping and if I want to now go back and look at that recall data again or that save data again I come back to file I recall and I recall that data again now you notice when I do that, the trace 3 disappears. So that's because as I'm recalling the trace data, I'm also recalling the setup with which the trace data was saved. So I need to go back and turn on 
that second trace and uh, set it back to sweeping. So I also want to point out that once you've recalled a trace into a whole held mode, the, it's critical that we don't display erroneous data on the screen. So this data that I'm showing here, uh, if I were to go and change the center frequency to something like 3 gigahertz, what happens is that trace data is cleared from the screen so that I'm not displaying data that is not accurate to the settings that are showing here. Again, if I want to get that information back, I simply go to File, I Recall, and once again I recall the signal that I saved. Okay, so uh, the feature also works extremely well in a spectrogram mode. So I'm going to preset my traces here and go back to sweeping. And I'm going to look at this information now in spectrogram. So change the view to spectrogram. And I'm going to set this up a little bit lower so I can see some more resolution on the data. Okay, so now I'm seeing my Wi-Fi signals, and let's say as I'm monitoring this, again, I put this into looking at the sweep, and let's say I see some anomaly in the data that looks interesting to me, it's something that I want to take a closer look at. So, let's say right here, there are a couple of signals that are different from the Wi-Fi channels that I've seen. Now, I have, we happen to know that those are Bluetooth broadcast channels, but if I want to take a closer look at those or save them for viewing later, Again, I come into my file, I do a save as, let's save this one as spectrogram1, okay, and then I can, I can preset my whole instrument if I need to or want to, and come back to file, recall, recall my spectrogram data. Once I've recalled the data, what's nice here is that this now pulls up 140 traces worth of information, and I can use my cursor here to go through and I can scan trace by trace, um, looking at the different traces or cursors that are on here. So you see here, uh, as I go through this, uh, I come to the trace menu, cursor. If I want to look at different positions, I can simply increment there. So you see here, as I go to uh, position 73, is crossing that signal that I'm interested in, and now I can see that signal and make some analysis on it. I can also turn on a second cursor if I want. And again, with this second cursor, I can come through, I can make changes uh, in the position. Uh, let's see, I, I want to capture that other anomaly there. I simply increment it till I find it. There, there it is on that trace. I accept, and then I can set markers at any one of those positions. Uh, simply come here. Right now, that marker is attached to the cursor two. I could then open marker two, set it to cursor one. You see, it jumps up there. I come up here, find that same point, and now I can make. Uh, make some determinations on the delta in time, amplitude, and frequency. Uh, the last thing that I want to point out is that the software needs a backend to do uh, to recall the trace data. So uh, in order to actually save and recall a file, you need to be able to be connected to something that is doing the sweeping. Now, typically that can be done by being connected to an instrument. You see the software that I have now is connected to an instrument at this IP address. But let's say that instrument is taken out of the lab or somebody has captured something in the field and you want to do an analysis on that data without being connected to an instrument. As you see here, if I come in and I change my IP address to something else, What's going to happen is it's going to say I've lost connection and now you see I don't have any more menus for recalling an instrument. But what this PC software has is a local backend. If I come in here and I turn on use local, it will open that up and I can then come in here and 
in the from the file menu open up a do a recall recall my spectrogram file and hit open and then once again it's recalled that spectrogram file just the way I saved it I can do any sort of analysis on there uh, and make measurements and I don't need to be connected to the instrument itself so that's how you save and recall files on a PC with the Fieldmaster Pro PC software if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to your local sales representatives thank you for taking the time to watch